okay, it's time for the Chaos campaign. I don't remember that guy having that many horns on his fucking helmet. Only a year ago, the Aurelian sector was all but doomed. The hive ships of the Tyranids hung over each world, seeding them with obscene creatures. The Tyranids were ready to feast. But these worlds are also the recruiting ground for the Blood Ravens. A chapter of the Emperor's own space marines. And they refused to yield. Veteran Targus weathered pitiless alien attacks. Allowing Cyrus and his scouts to find weaknesses in our ravenous foes. While Avatus leveled his righteous fury upon the Xenos, Thaddeus descended upon them. No, uh, the uploads are coming. I scheduled them. They're all uploaded. It's just gonna take like a week for the uploads to come true or to be published. schedule them to come out like but there is a truth like in five days in a row so I'll spread them out a little bit watch those instead because I do cut up uh, the uploads a bit more Time to get into the... Commander, this is Gabriel Angelos. We have detected a Blood Raven's distress... Chain knockback. Enemies. If there are chapter brothers in need, provide support. But be wary of a trap. Angelos out. Our drop pods have... Well, is it a um, playthrough on a normal version of the game or the modded? locate our other forces and regroup. I am the chapter's recruit. Stand ready. Alright, I should have just jump or ran for it. Packs are more than enough to bring this gate down. Yeah, they are. Take what? That doesn't work. <laughs> Supply crates replenish explosives. Primark is no fucking joke on the normal version of the game. It'll ta really takes a while. What are they doing here? Forward to victory. Be vigilant. Go ahead. Hold your position, Space Marines. I said hold. Lower your weapon, Guardsmen. We do not answer to you. Gun them down. Oh God! Run away! Run away! Attacking them with standard weapons takes much more time. I don't think it will. Yeah, the, I remember the... I think uh, me and Sifty played version something 3 point something? No loyal guardsmen would ever I'm not quite sure. I might, I might need to go back and look at the videos. But it's definitely more... The mod was definitely harder before. Seems it dropped the ball with the balancing a bit. My 
for this one. And again, I am gonna make a playthrough on the harder version of the mod that may be... Well, that may be hard, since it triples the health and the damage of the enemies. Okay, so yeah, now we need to tell Cyrus and Avatus to fall back. Because they still didn't... Well, they can't manage to fix that. Commander, the immediate area is oh, shit. If so, someone else um, first. Traitor guardsmen. Just when I was starting to respect them. Hate them if you will, but do not. Uh, well, this them. might have broken the game already. My fury knows no bounds. Say it now before Advance. As if you killed everything that's up there. How are we gonna get Darkus? Oh shit. In position. Destroy it. What the f... What's that purple aura, though? No, oh, I, I know they definitely didn't fix it. Okay, it works. <laughs> well, I see Tarkas doesn't need saving. Oh, look at all that fucking loot! Oh my fucking god. Well, they did fix it by him being too fucking hard or OP. Yeah, if can't like manage for them not to kill the, the, the AI. Just make the Tarkus a fucking machine. Killing machine. And like, what? Even like five of his guys were with him or survived. Okay, don't kill that guy. He is supposed to call in the. What? Uh, fucking artillery, right? What's with all the aura still? Transmitting a generic distress signal using Blood Raven's codes. Well, I think the spawn is uh, probably scripted in. Into the oh, oh god. Don't kill him. Okay, he still does his thing. Artillery. Clear the area. Run like a bitch. Oh, damn, there's so many of them. Now I do have to go through the Discord for the mod and see why did they exactly like give them so many squad members. No, we need to secure an approach before we can launch an extraction. Only logic engines can track and target drop pods. Those systems depend on a broadcast array. Because I feel this is way too many. Like space marines, find the array and destroy it. Yeah, Avatus or Tarkas, whoever can wield the bolter and just give him uh, the special ammunition. That seems the way to go. You know, we're gonna have the tarantula turret, right? Let me switch these around. No, that, that. What's with the auras on them, though? on that turret in tactical formation without being suppressed. I won't be surprised if he killed it before he got got in the nade range. Well then again it's much bigger than yeah. Never mind. Okay never mind. That has more health. But that's true, but um, the game isn't designed for that. Which, you know, the problem. Yeah, 
Okay, they started to knock back the Marines. That's nice. We're gonna have to, like, give them Terminator armor and hope they don't get knocked back in that. It's like uh, trying to... Uh, well, you can mod Company of Heroes 2, so you can have more troops and Company of Heroes 1. But, like, like at what point is it too much? I heard loot drops. But where? Where? Cyrus lost a squad member or two. One. Let's send the commander ahead. Maybe he can. Let's see what he can do. Because in the earlier versions of the mod, you had like what, what five, six guys. I mean, that, that was manageable, you know, it wasn't too much, but this... Well, it worked in the game, at least. I guess that's what I what, wanted to say, the way it's designed. Can you zoom out more, or is it, or is it just me? Wait, this ain't the way I, well, I usually go. Infiltrated. Who uh, was satchel charge? Well, that's not the satchel charge, but demo charge. I'm playing too much Company of Heroes. The rate of fire and everything on this mod is just crazy. Let's see. Mm. Such a nice clump of enemies. Ah, I wish the fucking explosion was a bigger. Look at the range on him. Seems only the last kind of guy I can fire. Which would make sense, you know. He has bigger range. I played Space Marine a day or two, a day or two ago. Or a night or two, or two ago. And the game bugged out on the, like... Once you get out of the fucking um, safe room. Well, let's say from, but you know, the spawn room. And the wave didn't start. So, that's a thing. Didn't happen ever before, but now it does. It's like the game got buggier as time goes on. So much damage. We should proceed to our extraction point and destroy any other traitors we find. Right, I forgot. You press T like it's company of heroes and you lose points if you retreat. Well, no, do you? No, it's just a mission where you can get corrupted if you run back. Right? Hold in a strike, run. 
I wonder how much loot can you get if you just run through the whole mission and grab everything. Or kill everyone. And it's even more funnier when like in That's the Arga. Yeah, that's yeah, that's the one. It's even more funny than like Space Marine. The, the game just migrates so for no fucking reason. And then no one has the full four bars. Even though someone's obviously host. But no one has the... F well, no one has no lag like he's the host. Which makes so much fucking sense. Not to mention that there's like maybe 10 people playing. Exterminatus. On multiplayer, though, or, well, PvP, there's a lobby or two going almost all the all time. Hostile forces spotted. Ready for duty. What the fuck killed him? What? Grenade launcher, I assume. Oh, I. I, I. Who's gonna bet here that they don't get even fucking close to us? If I put out this in the building in the middle. Well, no. He has too many squad members. I guess it's better to like leave him outside, right? Yeah, definitely leave him outside. Just in the middle here, I guess. Leave Cyrus somewhere over here, I guess. You mean the harder version of the mod? Which is on ModDB. I'm gonna download that once I finish this and probably make a playthrough on that too. If it's actually harder, if you don't just melt enemies on it too. This whole area will become our killing field. No, oh, fuck you. Our weapons are ready. Tactical Marines awaiting orders. Say it now, be vigilant. The traitors are laying down a barrage to soften us up. Yeah, sure. But that's the Do you get anything from placing him in there? Wait, which one is that? On Nexus mod or on mod DB? Most of the mods are single player only, if I remember correctly. I think I have something installed, I'm not sure which one though. Oh, this isn't, this isn't even fair. <laughs> and shoot the enemy if you don't have the line of sight on him, right? Look at that, I was having trouble. He's being outranged. I heard a little drop. Oh, nice. Yeah, it's probably not gonna work in multiplayer if uh, the other players don't have the mod. Oh no, just just stay over here. This is the Sora though. What the hell is it? Oh, nice helmet though.
God damn, this looks so nice. All the fancy gear. I know someone asked on the mo on the Discord server, can the mod uh, modders make uh, the level cap higher? I don't get why would you need that because with the mod you'll get the well you get all the skills anyway. I think you can unlock everything in the vanilla in Chaos Rising oh, in the you know normal campaign. Yeah, energy. Could be. Probably it's because that's that's one of the problems too. With health region, they just have too much HP. Like having like five, well, one or two HP region per second they ain't gonna do much once while you have 16k. Is there? I don't know. Is is it the level cap? They ask for the. Like, can they make it so you can have more skills or more slots? Which ain't gonna work because you fill up the fucking uh, action bar pretty fast, even without it. If you just use, you know, grenades and whatnot. Oh my god! Will it stop dropping? gonna become like a, a question if I can grab everything. <laughs> Poor guardsman. I guess this depicts like what it would be like to be a guardsman fighting space marines, right? Just get demolished. them all disappear. Yeah, this mod doesn't need the hell capping level cap increase because you get you get enough points to grab everything in the end, I think. Look, they are breaking off the attack. What do you expect from traitors? Courage and honor? And it's not like you get to use most of your fucking abilities in this. When you watch me play. More corpses. Yeah. Right, I had some sound bites. Or voice lines from Warband and... Uh, Nuke Nukem and Down of War too. I need to... Get that working again. Six oh three damage chain sword. There's just too much loot. Yeah, I should definitely find. There's probably a, somewhere on the internet the Avatar's voice lines, and Cyrus and Tark's voice lines. The Emperor. We must discover who these traitors were. Just make command so you can activate it on Twitch or YouTube. Have to investigate that later. The second strike team I assigned to investigate Aurelia has sent a distress signal. Sergeant Thaddeus and his assault marines are already prepared to deploy, along with the dreadnought Davian Thule. This signal could be another trap, Captain Angelos. This call is a full message, Sergeant. Review the signal on your planetary display and provide whatever support you can. I wonder what it's gonna be like if I take the tank drop pod in with me on this on this mission. Okay, first things first. Yeah. Yeah, sure. Let's grab XP. Why the hell not? Oh 
No. Wait, did we not carry? We didn't carry over all the loot from the vanilla campaign. That's weird. Why the fuck can he use a sword? I mean, we don't get corruption yet, right? So we can use that without any problems. Hello, yeah, skill damage to the felony. Yeah, I want to go with the fist, right? Or actually, the last cannon. Hmm. Because we're gonna run into a shitload of fucking armor. I guess, yeah, let's pick it up and see what happens. Or... Let's see. It definitely movement speed is gonna be better. It looks awful, though. Hmm. Chain fist. Is good against most things, but it basically is a normal fist. Right. Let's just go with the normal fist. 133, 80, 69. Of course, it's 69. This, this looks cool. <laughs> this looks kind of broken. I don't know, it's uh, like the texture. Probably, you can probably see it on YouTube and Twitch, but. Kinda looks like low quality. Like it's ported from Dawn of War 1 or something. I don't think it is. Is it? No? This one looks better though. A bit better. Ooh, a telep yeah, that might actually be a good idea. We're gonna need to go around and possibly flank. Okay, let's see about the am ammunition. If we get anything new, Dragonfire round. Dragon Ball. I just give him everything. Fuck it. <laughs> Yeah, they definitely added a lot of stuff into the mod. I recognize the into the game with the mod. Because, well, like, all the helmets. All the different helmets. But those were house Even the armor. Like, each armor, I, well, modded armor is different in some way. The, sector when the, attacked. the noble houses on Meridian have their own militias. It looks like Bandicis... Okay, this has plus 10 movement speed. This has plus... No, this one doesn't have... Oh, this has a minus movement. Yeah, we're gonna stick with this one. But I'm, I'm kind of thinking about bringing tanks on this mission, but I'm not sure how they're gonna. Uh, they're gonna probably screw us over because it's kind of narrow, narrow passageways. We need Gandalf. Let's see about Tarkus. We definitely need grenades.
Just go with the fucking bullets. Well, yeah, that's. I guess that's good work. Since um, then again, Tool who has a hard lock on health, so he can like his health can go past half. Health. Well, he can go down below half health. So that unless they change that, so we're not we're not gonna have trouble. Do I need to get an upgrade over here? Pressure resistance. Oh, knockback resistance, definitely. Yeah, we're gonna. Yeah, we just put the fucking drop pod beacon on him. He's not gonna need anything, right? Let's see what else? I see those. And yeah, slim pickings of level four. That. No, he he just you know his health goes to one or a quarter or a third and then just stops going down. He's invincible basically because it's still like a tutorial beginning mission. I couldn't know that for like yeah, knows when this when did this game came out? So like ten years, eight, six, who knows? I just learned that last year. I didn't learn it. I watched a YouTuber and like I was like, what? Like how to beat the game on Prime Primark because it's so fucking hard and he and I'm like how to get back in time to save two? And he's like, yo, his health doesn't just get it gets to this point, it doesn't go down. Oh so that's how. He can't fucking die. Let's see what What are we gonna give him? Hmm. Oh, let's give him a rocket launcher and the out cannon. Still, he's gonna suck ass in these missions. Wait, what? Not usable with Horrify. What? The fuck does that mean? Right, we need to switch out the bolter on him. When is the uh, wilding cover? Oh, right. Cover is not a thing in this game, in this mod. Okay, let's see if we can actually make him usable. Fifteen. Oh, back resistance definitely. Get this. Why did we get the level thirteen armor? I don't want to make him a terminator. But I kind of don't at the same. Uh, actually, we're gonna need to. The knockback damage is gonna be too much. I'll get the vortex grenades on him. See for the weapon. I don't want to give him the claws. Do the rate card count as vehicles or do, do they count as uh, 
Heavy infantry. I have no fucking idea. Let's go with the claws. He's skidded out. Uh, I'm gonna look at them later. Actually, let's, let's just level him up fully. The plasma weapons at this are too good. Get rid of this shit. Get rid of this shit. This shit. 